Tropical coral reefs are among the most diverse ecosystems on Earth, with estimates of species numbers ranging from 1 to 9 million. But today, more than 75% of reefs are threatened by numerous human-caused environmental stresses, including climate change, ocean acidification, overfishing, and physical disturbance. It has been estimated that the world has already lost as much as 19% of its coral reefs. We may lose another 15% in the next 10 to 20 years, and another 20% 20 in 20 to 40 years. The structural framework of modern reefs is built by corals, many of which secrete massive skeletons made of calcium carbonate. Corals are able to build these huge structures due to their symbiosis with tiny single-celled algae called zooxanthellae. The algae make food through photosynthesis and provide some of that food to the corals, which allows them to grow quickly. All reef coral species are endangered to some degree, and almost a third have a high risk of extinction. This proportion has risen dramatically over the past two decades. Understanding the ecological and evolutionary history of reef corals is essential not only to predicting which species are at risk, but also to conservation efforts designed to preserve genetic variation and the major branches of the coral evolutionary tree, which is necessary for their long-term survival. The extent to which environmental stresses affect reefs varies with the depth of water and where on earth they live. Reefs that live in deeper waters, those more than about 100 feet deep, and those that live in cooler, high latitude waters have been proposed as potential refugia, places where species might survive longer under future climate change. These so-called marginal reefs might not only protect corals from disturbance, but also serve as a source of recolonizing shallow reef areas following extinction of corals there. However, the potential for this recolonizing effect occurring is hotly debated by scientists. One approach to predicting the future survival of reef corals involves study of the fossil record. If scientists could understand which corals have survived past environmental change, this might improve our understanding of which species might persist. This kind of study, however, requires studying not just a few fossil corals, but lots of them from many museum collections. The fossil collection at the Paleontological Research Institution, PRI, in Ithaca, New York, contains many corals from ancient marginal reef habitats, including from the Caribbean and U.S. Atlantic coastal plain. These specimens, for example, are between two and a half and six million years old from the Dominican Republic. The coral species represented in these collections arose after an extinction event that occurred in the Caribbean around 22 million years ago and survived another extinction event around 2 million years ago. Analysis of these survivors, made possible by the collections at PRI and other museums, may help scientists to understand how marginal reefs respond to environmental stress and withstand extinction episodes. This understanding may help the ocean's most diverse environments endure into the future.